Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT with our Scratch tutorial all about making random numbers. So let's click the green flag and get going here. We've got a cat, a starfish, and a squirrel. And these guys are going to give us some numbers. All right, so the starfish has given us a decimal number, 4.5. Let's go again another time with the green flag. The squirrel always gives us multiples of three. He's set up to do that. He loves those multiples of three. This time the starfish knows has given us a whole number seven. We'll just go one more time with those guys because they should just keep picking different numbers because it is a random numbers program after all. So we've got eight, 6.5, and the squirrel's given us 27, which is in fact a multiple of three. Uh, this is just a quick program we made up. We got this background. This is actually a picture of the hall at the school where we work at the moment. And we needed a little project for maths where we could get um, some random numbers happening. And so this is what we did. And we also kind of randomized the gym floor there just to uh, paint it that really wild and quickly with the rubber stamp tool and fireworks just to add to the whole randomness of the project. All right, so let's look at the cat sprite first and what happens with him. All right, the cat sprite is set up to uh, first off initialize his variable cat's number pick. So we just made that, you know, using variables and make a new variable and uh, called it cat's number pick. We've clicked it here so it is shown on the screen as well underneath the cat. You would have seen that while the game was running. And with the script, he just says, are you ready for the number? Here we go. And we set the cat's number pick, that variable we made, to a random number between 1 and 20. So it could be any whole number between 1 and 20. It could be 9, 13, 15, 17, 5. And then he just says what his number is that got picked out and then just set it back to zero, ready to start the next time. All right, now random numbers are very useful in programming uh, because, you know, this random number, rather than him just saying it, we could have that determine how many steps he work, walks forward, how loud a particular sound plays, how many degrees he rotates around, what X coordinate he suddenly moves to, and a whole lot of other things. So random numbers are good because they're going to create variety and unpredictability, and that makes a game more interesting to play. Alrighty, let's click across and have a look at Mr. Starfish, his sprite. So he's got a big number and he's also got a starfish number. He's got two variables set up here at the start, which are both set to zero. So he says, you know, ready for my number, here we go. Now if his number, he picks between two and 40, not between one and 20. And then that big number that he's picked gets divided by two down here to make his actual number, which he says out here to the audience. All right, so down in the comments of the code here, we've uh, tried to explain that. Basically, because we wanted to get in between values, like values like 6.5, the way you get that value is if you could make the number 13 and then divide it by two, you would get 6.5. So we doubled everything up, so we picked numbers not between one and 20, but between two and 40. Then if you divide that answer by two and have him say the divided by two answer, you will get decimal values in between. All right, now, it just so happened that in the maths game we were playing in maths class, we needed some um, decimal values to come up to uh, determine some of the winners. Okay, let's go across to our last guy, Mr. Squirrel. And Mr. Squirrel says numbers which are multiples of three. Now, how we set that up is that the squirrel just picks a random number, a variable here. We've got SQ random number for him. And then we have SQ multiple, where we've multiplied his random number by a value. And down in here is where that happens. The random number he picks is between 1 and 10, not between 1 and 20. And then we set the square multiple, the squirrel multiple, not the square multiple, the squirrel multiple, to his random number, whatever it was, between 1 and 10, and times that by 3. There's little asterisks in there. So we pulled that out of the operator green blocks up here on the left, the timesing one, and brought that in to um, the set command. All right, so normally in the variable, if you pulled out a set command like this, just do it up the top right-hand corner here, uh, you could pick one of your variables. But what you can also do is go to an operator, put a green um, 
thing in there. Sorry, we could um, set it to the green thing in here, and then we could say if we want multiples of five, we could go five, and in here go to variables and get the squirrel's original random number and sort of pop that in there. So you end up with um, set the squirrel's multiple. So set the squirrel's multiple to five times what his random number was. So you can create sort of, rather than setting it to zero, you can use a green block here, add some things in, and that's how you get the multiple. So we'll just discard that away to the corner here. Um, there's some comments down at the bottom of this code here where we explain it. The first um, random number is a random number between one and three. Well, that's wrong because it's a random number between one and 10. And then the second variable is his multiple, where we multiply that by three. So you'll end up with numbers between one times three equals three. And if the random number happened to be 10, it'd be 10 times three is 30. If the random number was five, it'd be five times three is 15 and so on. So that guy just loves multiples of three and they're the magic numbers, he says. That's pretty much it. This was just a little demonstration to show you how you can make different types of random numbers using that uh, green operator function, pick random, which is over on the left hand side here, which you can drag out onto the stage and put into its other code blocks, drop it into squares within them. So it's not an actual block that does something itself, it's a block, a script block which you put inside another script block, the pick random. And then you can have just whole numbers if you need them, you could have multiples of 10 if you wanted those. Uh, really any sort of number you want you can create at random and that's going to create a lot of variety and interest in your games and you'll find is a very handy function and in fact we've already used that in some of the earlier tutorials uh, we've done and we will certainly be using it in tutorials that are to come so we hope you enjoyed it and make sure you go to the details of this YouTube video and you'll be able to find our link to our website which has a post all about random numbers, includes all these script blocks uh, in there and everything else you need.